Welcome back, ladies and gents, to Rebelville. Once again, we are playing City Skylines. Today, we are going to be working on the Central Business District. I'm just going to pause the game here while we talk about this. What we're going to do is we're going to connect this avenue right here, which is our main avenue through the current Central Business District, and we are going to bring it out, bring her down, and bring her over to here, make this connection. So we'll still have kind of the one main artery through the Business District, and then right about here we are going to do a pedestrian park. And we're gonna do that with a mix of uh, a park, a large park like this one is, pedestrian paths, and some trees. And I don't have an exact plan in mind just yet, so we're gonna, once we get to that, we'll kind of figure it out on the fly. So first, why don't we grab a four laner here? We might as well tree line it, because that looks good. And we're gonna pull it out to about there, and we're gonna curve it down, so we'll Grab the curve tool and we'll curve that at a nice angle downward back to straight tool. Bring that down right about there and we'll grab curve tool again out a little bit and over. Oh, didn't quite hit it. I'm going to back this up. Let's back it on up and uh, we'll try that again. That I don't like, so we're going to try this one more time. Grab the straight, give it a little bit more length, back to the curve tool. And close but no cigar, right about there, that's the one. We've severed our power line. We will uh, actually move this because it's we don't want it running straight through here, so let's get rid of that. Grab our bulldozer tool and knock that sucker out of there. And we will connect over here instead, get it right out of that district. Since we don't have any zoning along that main avenue just yet, this is the better route to take. Okay, so we've got our main avenue. Uh, we are going to now have to make some offshoot roads kind of like we did here. And I, I do like the way that this traffic flows in the one way. Um, but in this particular district, and, and we've seen this over the last few episodes where the city services, namely the buses, not buses, sorry, not buses, garbage trucks, Garbage trucks, hearses, ambulances, police have an extremely hard time accessing one ways. And it doesn't even seem to depend on where they are. So for example, we have a firehouse right here. It has a very difficult time catching this area up here. As you can see, the fire coverage is not good. When here, it's perfectly fine, right? This is not a one-way road. This is a one-way road. This is a one-way road. They somehow cannot manage these one-way roads and it's infuriating because all they have to do is come out to this way and bump up or they go in like this, come up here and right there. They're, you know, I don't understand this concept. It shouldn't be that hard to service a one-way road. And the only solution to this is to dig a firehouse right inside of these one-way streets. And I don't want to have to do that anymore. So we're going to do the roads a little bit differently than we've done in, in that other part. There's still a way to uh, do this properly with one-way roads, and that is to only make a single spur. So when you do your zone, whoops, we don't want to be on curve too well. When you do your zone, you don't make any connecting roads off of the one that you're making. So you're making a single road. This will not get busy. This won't. Uh, trust me, I've done this in my other cities, and you will not have traffic congestion on this. The, the problem is you're gonna have to alternate these just a touch, okay? So that was too close. You can bring this road like downward, say like a spur off of here, that's perfectly acceptable, but don't connect it back to another road. You want this to be a local traffic road only. So the trucks are gonna come in here to deliver goods only to these stores. They're not gonna use this as a through way to come back to an avenue. That ensures that the traffic stays down. And you can see we can still use the space very efficiently. Very, very efficiently. This area we're gonna save for the time being. So let's come over here and we'll pull a couple little roads off of here. Uh, space already occupied, where? That was a bit of a glitch. So let's pull that one there and we'll pull a road down and then we'll pull a little spur off of this back road. Just like that. We could even do a tiny little one right there. That is a convoluted little road system. Uh, let's grab a couple off of this one. 
We're just future planning for this. We might not zone all of this right away. Do one here and we'll do one coming up. And we will do one coming down, but we need those power lines for now. So we won't do that just yet. So look at the way that these are set up. Throughout the entire avenue, we've only got three intersections. And these intersections are pretty minor, really. This tr the traffic that's gonna be coming from here is not going to be that bad. If it does become bad, we can upgrade this to a six lane and we can upgrade, say, a bit of this to a four lane. We'd still use these for the, the two, two lane ones, but in any event, that's kind of how I have it envisioned. So we've got still our main traffic road here is a feeder road to these local areas. We don't have any reason, there's, there's no connection between these and the main roads. So they will always come back out to the bigger street to get back onto the arterial road. Very important to set things up like this. Let's get on to the fun stuff for the day. We are going to make a park. And uh, this is kind of going to be our downtown centerpiece. So I want to spend a bit of time working on this. And I think the base that we start with is this large park with trees. So as usual, this is a little tricky to place. So you'd think it, as you're moving in, look, it should start to place right there, but it doesn't. You have to push it in a bit further. So we're going to start that right there. And... Um, we are going to surround this with a dirt path like we did at the one on the uh, upper stage there, like this guy up here. So we surrounded this with a dirt path. We're going to do a bit more than that on this. We're going to uh, help this one out look a little bit better with some trees. And uh, maybe we'll put a couple little sub parks off of this as well. So let's, uh, this is getting really snappy here. It's snapping to the road for some reason. Okay, so bring that there, and that one's a little short. We'll have to do a bit of a bit of work right there. We'll just delete that. That is not the road. Did I just zone that as a dirt road? Is that a dirt road, or is that a path? Let's, let's see if they look any different. That is a, definitely a dirt road. I messed that up. Try this again. We'll try this again. That's why it was snapping to the road. Okay, so we got our nice little dirt path here. And now think about, think about a park in your city. And what does a park look like? Well, it's got paths and it's got trees and it's got nice benches. So we don't want to do a bunch of geometric patterns in here. Let's do something kind of curvy and, you know, it looks kind of neat. Do something like that. Maybe we'll bring it up. Eh, maybe not so much. We'll do it like this. And we'll curve it back around the other way. And we'll, we'll make it curve back on itself and we'll have a little tree loop in here. That's kind of a neat looking teardrop, eh? So then we'll just fill this in kind of with some trees. Just put some trees right inside these little areas. That's good enough for now. We'll finish it off later. And we'll go back to do some more pathing here. So let's do a little jut out from here and we can come back onto that path. And we'll do one out here. Already occupied by what? A tree? Another, no, another path. And we'll do something like this. No, I don't like that angle, so we'll do like that. Uh, I wouldn't mind doing like a little symmetrical horseshoe right there. So let, let's back that up just a touch. And we'll grab off of here, try to get this symmetrical. That is pretty darn close. No, it isn't. <laughs> no, it isn't at all. Let's try this again. I think we need a little, little piece in there to spread the gap. So let's put a straight piece there and we'll try this curve once again. Nope, that's not even close. A little further out. Uh, let's see. That looks pretty close. Looks kind of like a bullet. Yep, that's that's good. Let's uh, redo this path right here and we'll pull that into this corner. Just like that. 
and uh, I wish I could copy this design onto that. It'd kind of be like a guy with arms, but I'm I'm not confident that I'm gonna get that shape again trying to do it over here. It's too bad we can't copy this, but hey, that's fine. Let's do a couple little interior paths in this uh, this one. These these paths in these parks tend to be kind of like little loops and turns and whatever. So we'll just do. Can we do one that's really kind of like a really severe loop? Something like that. And oh, we won't be able to do it from that edge. So we'll have to grab it from here. No, nope, that's still not going to work. So we'll, we'll bulldoze that. Uh, let's leave that. See, here is where I wish we could do parks on the paths. Because I would put, like, say, a little plaza or something right there. Basketball court would look really cool there, but we can't attach because there's no darn roads. You, there's a trick to doing that. If you really, really, really want to put a park off of a road, you can build a road, put the park down, and destroy the road. There's a problem with that, though. The uh, parks will have crime in them. The parks will have garbage. Uh, so you have to keep a close eye on it and maybe demolish it once it starts collecting too much garbage or getting too much crime. But uh, anyway, we won't do that for today. We'll just we'll just keep doing some interesting paths up here, and uh, let's pull one right off of here, and we'll curve it. Like such. And like that, and we'll do kind of a connection to this guy over here. No, don't like that curve too much. Yeah, hmm. I'm not enthused on that. Uh, let's just back this up a little bit. That's all right. Now let's make a couple little loops down to here. That's a pretty neat looking park. Why don't we do one little circle? We'll do a little circle in here if we can. Just for interest's sake, just to put a couple trees in there. Very hard to do symmetry with the paths because they don't have any guides. We will put trees, you'll never notice that that's not symmetrical. I promise. Even though you'll know, we'll keep it a secret. There, we'll just we'll just jam some trees in there. And uh, I think what I'll do is I'll I'll tree line these paths a little bit with some random trees. This is this is really working on city aesthetics. I mean, this has no functional value whatsoever, and I don't even think people care if these kind of things are in the city. Which is unfortunate because you put a lot of work into making it look nice and uh, they don't care. They just, they don't appreciate your hard work and your creativity in making the city look nice. That's kind of cool. Okay, we will do some more tree lining along the path. We'll just switch up the trees here a bit. Just like this. I really, really wish you could do parks inside of open areas. That would make things so much nicer. We've got little trees all around the edge of this, so why don't we try to find some bigger trees to put on the inside. That's kind of cool, I like that. And maybe we'll do the same along this way. Are these the biggest trees, or are these the biggest trees? Oh, let's switch it up a little bit. Those are big ones, so we will put... Uh, we're going to make a little path going onto that circle. Just a little path, right? Nope. Right? Nope. Nope. Oh, it's not going to let me. Is there really not a space in there? Oh, they'll walk. They'll walk there. So, uh, the other thing I want to do is um, make a little bit of an overpass. And I don't think you can do that with the dirt ones. Let's just see if you can or not. No, you can't You can't raise the dirt ones. That would be kind of stupid if you could. So, you got to go to the... Uh, you got to go to the concrete ones, and we'll we'll drag this, try to keep it fairly symmetrical with that. Drag this over. 
Right about, right about there. Page up. And we'll pull this across the park if we can. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get there. Apparently we cannot. The span is trying to put a support right in the park. So that idea is kiboshed. If we were to just build this uh, without using the park in there, then we could do that. And we might do it maybe over here instead. So I kind of want a, a bit of height interest in here as well as the trees and and that. Let's hey, let's finish off the trees first though before we go into that. So let's grab some of these trees. You know what I'm going to do is use the the brush tool to speed this up just a touch. This is the brush mod that we got the other day. Uh, and it, it works fairly well. The one thing it doesn't do is put trees very well into edges of things. So if you if you want to have a, an edge, you have to do it individually, just like this, instead of using the brush tool, because it just doesn't get very close to the edge at all. And we'll put a few different varieties in here. Just spam these in. Okay, we'll move on. We'll use the brush tool to get a majority of this done. Yeah, let's let's tree up this whole area. It'll look cool. Grab some different trees. Are those the same trees? Those were the same. Uh, it's not going to put any more of those kind. We'll put some on this kind on this side. Not. Not all of those though. Let's let's mix it up. We're gonna try to make sure that the edge of, of these paths is nicely lined. So I think it looks better when it's it's well tree lined. And the road as well. We want this to look like a really well maintained, purposefully built park for the citizens' enjoyment. It looks kinda cool right now. Very neat. Uh, I don't, you know, I mean, this this park almost wants symmetry, doesn't it, though? It really kind of does. It really wants symmetry. If this was, like, um, real life, I mean, the symmetry probably wouldn't be a big concern. But it is bothering me a bit that it's not symmetrical. It does bother me to some degree that that's not symmetrical. Hmm. Do we change it? Yeah, uh, that is the question. Here's here's what we're going to do. We're going to take it back to this loop, and then we're going to try to do some symmetry off of this. I don't like that it's not symmetrical, so we're going to do some work on this. How's my cash doing? I got lots of cash. Okay, so this is okay. That I think that piece is fairly symmetrical, so we'll just bulldoze this stuff out of there. All right, so let's go back to our path tool, and we're gonna try to we're gonna try to match this curve. As tough as that's gonna be, we're gonna try to match this curve. Not quite. Let's back that up. Uh, that's pretty close. It's a little sharp right there. And it didn't go up enough. So we're just going to try to fix that. It goes a little out from that, from that point. So let's try a little longer of a curve. That looks a little better. We'll bring that up a little higher. Right about there. Much better. Much, much better. Yeah, that's kind of neat. I mean, it's not perfectly symmetrical, but it looks way better than it did before. Okay, let's go back to doing some trees. And uh, we want to make sure that this is well tree-lined. So we're just going to plop these down. I like that the sizes of the trees is random when you're, when you're placing them. Though we don't have a lot of variety in this area, so let's just bulldoze some of these. 
And we'll use the brush again to put a bit of a different variety in because I don't like it looking so uniform. Okay, let's put a couple little guys in with the brushes. Oh, those are way too little. Uh, we're not getting a lot of space in there, unfortunately. We might have to place these by hand. This area needs a bit of filling. Okay, so now we just need to kind of fill this area up. How far do we want to go with this? Would it look good if it were kind of down this way? I think it would. So let's, uh, let's grab our brush again. And we'll fill in the trees here. Sorry for all the mouse clicking, but this is the easiest way to get this filled in properly. Very neat. Okay, so we can't put any overpass a pedestrian overpass there, but I still do kind of want to try to put one in here because they look so cool. So maybe we try to put one right about here. And uh, this will be, why are we still kind of getting the zoning view here? Uh, uh, I guess we can't help that. Start this off, page up to get a ramp. And uh, we will just bring it right about there. I'm going to take the curve tool off because I want this to kind of go straight. This will be like a observation deck for the park. So people can kind of walk over the park. It would be pretty cool in real life, I think. So we'll cross this path. And then we'll pop it down. Try to get down to our street. There we go. Okay, then we're going to make another one that connects from this side. So we will start this out, page up to get the ramp, come over, and we'll try to connect. That's pretty darn cool. Pretty darn cool. I wish we could bring one down this way. That would be really nice if we could. I wonder if we could make like a little loop. Let's try to do that. Like a little observation kind of thing like you see at, um, what is it, the Grand Canyon that has that circular uh, observation loop. Let's see what we can do with the curve tool here. Okay, attach please. Nope, I don't want to go down. Page up please. Why are you sending me down? It's trying to automatically connect to this path and I don't want it to. Hmm. Kind of screwed my loop up there when it was trying to auto attach. So let's, let's do this again. Yes, I like it. Very, very cool. Let's do one on this side as well. We'll try to get symmetry in here. What is occupying that space? Uh, not overly symmetrical. This one's a little tiny. That is a little bit tiny. Did it break that path? It looks like it broke the path when we put the support down. So let, let's just put that back in. Uh, nope, we want to work on the ground level, please. Try to swing around here. Pull a path down to about there.
That's okay. I'm gonna leave it like this. This is it's still pretty cool, right? I I think it is. We could do even a circle. Um yeah, maybe I don't like that second loop. I don't know. Let's take it out and see what we think. Yeah, I think I like it better with just the one loop. Or maybe no loops. We could make a path coming up this way. And maybe that way. That would look kind of good. Look like it... Uh, the thing about this is it looks like it's not too sturdy. So I kind of want to make it look like... It's a very intended structure. So let's grab a path from here. Page up. And we'll bring it right onto there. Kind of wanted it to go up a lot earlier than that. I maybe should have just done a, a short one first. Notice how the trees pop back up. There's a there's a tree limit in the game of 250,000. And when you place a building or zoning, and there was trees in it before, uh, it, the trees actually just stay there. So if you do want to try to go to the tree cap, you should be destroying the trees before you zone and. Um, just so that you don't run out of trees. Because there was a guy that was like a, a tree maniac on the forums that said, hey, I ran out of trees. And uh, unfortunate for him, because then he had to go and destroy some buildings and all that kind of stuff. So let's give it some interest by giving it an angle here. And we will do another one on this side. And then I think our park is complete for today. We may do some improvements to it later on. But for now, this is what it's going to look like. And we'll just attach that right onto that. That is a neat looking central park for our city. Because we've got some industrial or <laughs> commercial demand, we are going to zone in these commercial areas and make sure that they have everything suitable for their survival. And then we will call it a day. We are not going to zone this backside because we don't want to ruin the park, but we will zone that one. And we will zone that one. No, we won't. That's on the main road. We'll zone this, 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 all these interiors and the avenue ones. And there we have our new and improved Greenway Business Park. Let us expand this zone to include our beautiful park that we just made today. Perfecto. Let's start up the game. Oh, no, we have to check if we got water and we don't. So let us grab some water pipes. There we are. Let's check to make sure that we'll have some decent power. We could budget up here just a bit. Just like that. And we'll start up the game. How's the power? Yeah, the budget bumps it up a little bit. Let's take a trip through. Uh, what was that? There we go. First person mode flying around our brand new Central Park. We're going to go right down inside of this thing. Take the walkway. The walkways kind of interact a little funny with the first person view, but we'll take it anyway. And it, did, it didn't work. Uh, yeah, they act a little funny with the uh, pedestrian ones. We'll just we'll just hover around here Isn't this look at that look at that view the citizens can just come up here and relax look we got our first pedestrian and uh, They will walk a great distance a very great distance Gorgeous Let's get an aerial view of this coming out Very, very cool. I'm very satisfied with that. And we can make some tweaks to it later on. But uh, yeah, that is a very nice central park for our business district. So hey, that's it for today, guys. Um, 
you know, come up with your own park ideas. These things are kind of fun to uh, to build. And uh, even, you know, play with the asset editor and get some things kind of for your park that you like. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.